We are in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Monday morning with our buddy Bob Burke, thanks to GoProvidence.com. Uh, Bob's restaurant is Pot Feu. We have steak au poivre on the menu. Tell us what that is. What is that? Steak au poivre is steak, steak, steak with pepper. Oh, all right. Okay, well, so okay. we got our peppercorns. Got it. Got some shallots, yep. butter, uh, the, you know, the holy trinity, butter, cream, salt. Those are... You know, what else do you what else, need? What else, what else do you need, do you need? Sure. A couple of nice ribeye steaks. Uh, we, we have this on the menu all the time at Pot au Feu. It's called steak frites, mm -hmm. uh, served with the traditional, you know, uh, home frites, french fries. Okay. And uh, you just take the steak. We're going to crack up the pap peppercorns, but you don't want that little fine grind. We want a coarse. You want a coarse. So we're going like to break them like up, that. and then we're going to coat the steak in the peppercorn. We're going to sear it off right here in our cast iron. And then we're going to make a pan sauce, and the pan sauce is the steak au poivre, the au poivre sauce. Okay, and that's with, and the that's peppercorn cream and sauce. Else. And that we're going to do with a little butter and cream, shallot, uh, and we're going to use the flavor that comes out, the juices. So I know everybody loves, it's summertime, they're thinking, go out, get it on the grill, no. but steak in a cast I iron agree. pan is delicious. And then you pick up that extra flavor that goes away into the air in, this, in, the, uh, in the barbecue. I agree. Uh, all that flavor stays in the pan. We're going to capture it all, put it back on top of the steak. It's going to be delicious. Yeah, the well. taste from, I, I know people, like you said, they want to go outside. They want to throw it on the grill. But there is, it tastes a million times better, especially if you use an, uh, a great cast iron pan, yep. one that's really seasoned well. You put it on the put it on a uh, the uh, stove and in the oven again, and it co comes out so much better yeah, than yeah. just taking it and tossing it on the grill. I think tossing it on the grill even dries it out sometimes. It can, it can. So I'm all excited this week. It's Bastille week. Right. We've got our huge party coming up Saturday night at the restaurant. We're out on the street. It's fantastic. We've got tables. We've got a jazz band from uh, France coming in from and, Paris. So we've got a lot should, of fun this should week. Should people have to make reservations for that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just call me at the restaurant. We'll be happy right. to get you hooked up with tickets. But uh, y you know, I'm an excitable boy. Well, I know. And and I, this week, Bastille Week is just this is my week. This, this is, is our thing. week. Every time, every time it comes up, <laughs> you're the first person who I who I think of all the time because I know how much how much you love it. Um, I know you said this is the steak we're using. Is this, does this steak work best when making it than than another another yeah, cut? I, I love a ribeye, but uh, you know the French are going to use in steak au poivre. You're going to see them use a hanger steak, a flank steak. At the restaurant, we use what's called Terrace Major. It's called a bistro steak. Okay, bistro tender. Yeah. Um, they tend to use the uh, cuts that are a little less expensive with it, but you still want to get a, a tender. Always look for the grade of meat that you're buying in a supermarket. Got it. Don't buy the standard grade. You want to go up to choice. Choice is where you want to be when you're buying your meat in the supermarket, okay. and that will give you the tenderness. That's Sounds the key good. To I, can't, it. I can't wait to get it. Nicely this marbled. You can see the beautiful marbling on that steak. Looks good. Well, so we'll put this together. Talk to uh, Bob about the uh, the big week. He's very excited. We're going to have some snack bacon. We're a little have some snack bacon little there, snack well, bacon. Gotta have well. your snack Thank bacon. you, sir. We will do that in just a little bit. Back to you. <laughs> we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen with the one and only Bob Burke. Uh, he is here from Potiphar. We've got steak au poivre on the menu. But before we even get to that, this is very exciting. And it's I, a very I'm, big day. I'm two places at once. Yes, I'm in the kitchen and I'm in the green room on the wall. Back right on the wall of fame in the fame green is. room. Of the road show. I've got to tell you, Bonnie. I'll tell you, that makes me very proud. Bonnie, who works on the show, is very excited to get your picture up there on the on the wall. Thank you, Bonnie. That's right. That's right. So that's that's a, that's a good thing. Okay, so so tell us what we got going on. Our sauce is coming together really nicely here, Will. You're yep. doing a great job Thank there, you. buddy. We put in our uh, little butter. Uh, our brandy, our shallots, cream, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a touch of salt, and now it's reduced down. You notice it's turned this nice golden color, right. okay? It started out that really white cream, but just like butter, the way butter turns brown, right. cream turns brown also in the sauce. And we're ready to go. So should I, should I keep m moving it around because you don't no, want it to... No, what we're going to do, I'm around. ready, and, and you notice we have two different pans yep. here. One of the them way. gave us our grill marks, right. okay, which a lot that of people great. prefer, but you want to get this over and get those the last bit of flavor okay. into the I'm gonna, sauce. I'm gonna okay? this up just a little and I'm gonna put this around. down and now you can go ahead and sauce them well. You can All pick right. up the pan okay, and just pour it up. Oh, well, 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 well. Not gonna we're, use that. we're professionals in the roadshow <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> gonna use this. That's all Got we it. ever use, okay? We, right. we use side towels is what we call so, them in the restaurant. So go ahead and drizzle that right over the steak. Do both of them. Yep, there we go. Nice and thick, okay. delicious. And that is classic steak au poivre. 
And, uh, oh, boy, does that look Ooh, good. Wow. It smells fantastic. It smells too. great, it, doesn't it? Cooking with a cast iron pan is so much better. And, you know, the question came up this morning of how to, how to clean your cast iron pan. And the thing that I love to use is I just use a bristle brush. To do okay. it. That's it. Yeah, because if you scrub it, you're going to scrub the finish off. It's going to rust. You want to okay. keep that nice. It's it's as good as Teflon. It really is. So can you run, so run it under cold water? You run under cold water? As oh, well? yeah. Yeah, you, you, you just can, scrape it off. Uh, okay. Hot, hot yeah. water. Yeah, hot, hot water, water and soap. But the key is don't use an abrasive on it. Got use it. a bristle brush, and that won't ruin the finish. I also wanted to show a little trick here. This is how a uh, uh, professional chef crushes the peppercorns okay really? yeah we use the side of a saute pan and we just rake it over it look how beautiful they came out from what they started because out because you like want this. to you want to keep it coarse Ex oh you got to have it coarse you can see you know the big pepper flakes that we've got on there and um, you know this is just uh, I, I love this dish it's a classic of french cuisine right. and um, and you used is it Sh shallots or is it shallots? Oh, well, my Because you go to a fancy place and it's shallots. <laughs> my best man walked into a supermarket. Where are the shallots? And the kid says, uh, the shallots are right there. Right so, over there. Right. Yeah, okay. You call them, sh call them shallots. They're basically a really nice mellow onion. They got the root and the, uh, uh, and the stem here. Always cut uh, through the root end so that it holds it together. Right. The root end will hold it together. Okay. And, of course, it's an exciting week for a lot of reasons, Will. Well, we got a lot going on this week. The, yeah, the, the Providence Restaurant Weeks is, is, That's is, right. is happening as well. And then, and also for you, you, you know, it's a it's a big celebration. And every time I think of Bastille Day and, and everything that's happening, I think of you. Well, we got our big Bastille Day party. Right. You know, we have all wanted to get back out. And we are setting up tables on the street in front of the restaurant. We've so got a nice. jazz band coming from Paris. Barnaby Evans is going to light the first brazier of water fire, like an eternal flame. It's the, so the nice to hear that. that friendship between France and America. We're right. going to celebrate that. And it's just going to be, if you're going to be anywhere this weekend, you know, why go to all those crowded places <laughs> yeah. down at the beaches? It's true. Every place is busy. Come up to Providence. Enjoy the restaurant weeks. Enjoy Bastille Day party. Right. We're going to have a blast. And it's going to be a great time. So there's never, better, never a better time to right. be in Providence than this week. And, and what else do you have going on at the restaurant, too? Because I, I see we saw, uh, you know, Josito uh, the, showing the restaurant oh, yeah. as well. Joe's which great. was really, really He's so nice. Best. But the yeah. restaurant itself is beautiful. Oh, thank you, Will. Yeah, well, you know, our 1875 setting, you really do feel like you're in Paris when you mm -hmm. come down there. Uh, for people who can't get, you know, on an international flight this week, right. uh, all you got to do is drive to downtown Providence. We're going to make you feel like you're right in the heart of Paris and, and Viva celebrating. La Viva la France! Viva la France! Bob, thanks for coming in. Bon appétit, mon ami. If you would like this recipe, you can head on over to our website, <laughs> roadshow.com.